A microphone. Pat and Jimmy of Train, of course. I love these guys. We, we go way back to way back in the days when, you know, you can remember. Tell a story. Okay. I remember there was a day when uh, <laughs> like, Lisa Fox was actually Ryan Seacrest. Right. We, were, we were one. Isn't this how it went? It no. Back I remember. In the day. I remember you guys. He was such a dork and you were so awesome. And here you are, you still that? awesome, and he's still a huge dork. Come on, but he is a very wealthy dork. So that's I mean, right. So I don't talk about things uh, about him on the air. This is I'm so glad this isn't being filmed, <laughs> except for the cameras. But it's okay. Um, the point is, we go way back to meet Virginia, and yes. it's kind of cool. Like all these years later, it's like you guys have been through so much. Uh, you and Jimmy, just as a band, Jimmy and Scott. Um, and then, like, the evolution of Train has been kind of crazy because it's almost like now you're, like, bigger than ever. And it was funny. Pat made a joke before we started taping um, when he was signing some autographs. And, and I won't say it because we'll um, get in trouble. But 50 Ways to Say Goodbye is, like, another number one hit. So do you ever does it ever get to a point where you're like, oh, another number one? I mean, with every time you guys succeed, it's got to just feel... I don't know. I just always threaten everybody that we're one hit away from me totally turning into an asshole. <laughs> and Wait, then, then Jimmy always goes, wasn't that Meet Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, didn't that already happen a couple times? There. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he started the wine club. See, to deal, to cope, right? Yeah, no. constantly. <laughs> We gotta make some money Here out of it. Goes, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. I think I'd know how to do this by now. I know, right? Not much yeah. wine, you forget. <laughs> but no, but you guys, so you spend so much time together on the road. Like, do, what do you look forward to most? You look forward to the time together or the time away? Because like now it's the end of the tour, so we just kind of ooh, break time. Thank God, time to re rejuvenate. Or are you gonna like still keep writing and working, or how's it work? I blew my voice out the other day, and uh, so I'm just kind of trying to get through each show, and uh, I didn't want to cancel. Thank you, Jimmy. I didn't want to have to cancel any shows, you know, so we were in Oregon the other day and miraculously I got on stage and I was singing better than I had in a long time. And then we went to the desert and went to Reno and it was dry and dry. up high yeah. and I ruined my voice again. And we were in San Francisco and that was, was good and we have two more shows left. So, and they're like our funnest shows, San Francisco, Los Angeles, then we do Phoenix and I love going to Phoenix. And so... We have these last three things. I'm just trying to keep a good attitude about it. We're 10 weeks in. I'm so tired. But then I know that I'll be home for four hours, and I'll be like, oh, my God, i got to get out of here. You know, i got to go. Four work. hours? Like, that's all it takes? You're over <laughs> and, it? And I like, don't, let's do another tour. And I don't like, really want to get out of there. It's just that I constantly want to be doing like, something. Well, so I, I, like, running around after my kids and nice. stuff. Uh, and there's only three of us left in the band, and we're looking to kick two of them out so we can have another behind the music. So, <laughs> nice, right? Uh, yeah, that just uh, aired on VH1, right? It's going to be, yeah. 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 Yes, that's, you got some well, good juicy stories? we can Scott right now. He's MI. He's supposed to be here. Well, he was a given. <laughs> we knew he was going. Come on. No, there's some good stories there. Wait, and really quick. So I heard that 50 Ways to Say Goodbye was not actually supposed to be. It was going to be called 50 Ways to Kill Your Lover. Because we really, it was like, you know, obviously 50 Ways uh, or 50 Ways to fifty ways to Leave Your Lover. We thought, let's steal the name except for the leave and sure, kill. Sure. And, we'll and then we uh, we realized, but... If, if we get a chance to have it on radio and it's actually played on the way to school and a kid say, Mom, turn up my favorite song, 50 Ways to Kill Your Lover, I don't know. Mommy, can I hear the Kill, kill the Lover song? Yeah, right, right. yeah, we thought maybe that one the so best does idea. Does having kids like change your, like make you more? I think it does, yeah. I think that's the, you know, because what you'll see tonight is like one of the things that I think we're all most proud of, which is families can come. And everybody leaves happy. No one has to drag each other to a train show. It's like you can do something as a family. I think we do enough things in this uh, American culture uh, separate. And so we give people a chance to have their families out. And uh, I love that. Well, and what I love is uh, via Twitter and via Facebook, uh, your fans are psycho, but like in the best way. They're, they're really sweet and psychotic. And so I love their... <laughs> their no, they really are. I follow are. you on Twitter. I know. And every like, once in a while, I see like some of our fans like chiming in on, oh, like, oh, oh, thanks for yeah. playing Drive-By today. You know, it's, yeah, they're they're intense, here. but they, they're yeah. on me to yeah. play your songs, and we do. Um, but we love you guys. So I'm just I'm happy like all these years thanks. later, here you are still kicking ass and taking names. And, yeah, um, and so too. just cheers to Dre, right? They, yeah. they haven't kicked me out yet. We're Can I, if you need an extra spot to you want looking for a girl to join the band I'm or for a girl to join the band to replace the drummer that we can't find an angry old <laughs>